Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a widget that displays a vertical bar chart with two data sets and a title. First, I created a bar charts class. The body of the scaffold widget is a single child scroll view widget, which will allow the widget to scroll if the content is too large for the screen. The child of the single child scroll view widget is a padding widget, which will add some space around the content. The child of the padding widget is a column widget. The first child of the column widget is a chart column widget, which will display the vertical bar chart with two data sets and a title. Then you need to create a chart column class. The child of the chart column widget is a card widget, which will create a rounded rectangle with a shadow effect. We set the color to a white color, which will define the background color of the card. We set the surface tint color to a white color, which will define the tint color of the card. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border widget, which will create rounded corners for the card. The child of the card widget is a padding widget, which will add some space around the content. The child of the padding widget is a column widget. The first child of the column widget is a row widget. We set the main axis alignment property to main axis alignment, space between, which will align the widgets with equal space between them. The first child of the row widget is a column widget. We set the cross axis alignment property to cross axis alignment start, which will align the widgets to the start of the row. The first child of the column widget is a text widget, which will display the word vertical bar. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 28 pixels, a bold font weight, and a black color. The second child of the column widget is a text widget, which displays the word statistics of the month. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels, a normal font weight, and a gray color. The second child of the row widget is an icon button widget which displays an icon that can be tapped to perform an action. The onPress property sets the function that will be executed when the icon is tapped. In this case, the function is empty, which means that nothing will happen. The icon property sets the icon to icons.moreVert, which is a predefined icon that represents a vertical ellipsis, three dots. We set the size of the icon to 40 pixels, The second child of the column widget is a sized box widget, which creates some vertical space between the row widget and the next widget. The third child of the column widget is a row widget, which arranges its children horizontally. The children of the row widget are the widgets that display the labels for the data in the chart. The first child of the row widget is a container widget, which creates a rectangular box with a color and a shape. We set the width of the container to 27 pixels, we set the height of the container to 13 pixels. We use a box decoration widget to create a color and a border radius. The second child of the row widget is a sized box widget, which creates some horizontal space between the container widget and the next widget. The third child of the row widget is a text widget, which displays the words data one. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 14 pixels, a normal font weight, add a black color,
we use a sized box widget, which creates some horizontal space between the text widget and the next widget. We copy the container and text widgets and then change the words and color. In the column widget, we use a size box widget, which creates some vertical space. The fifth child of the column widget is a Cartesian chart widget, which creates a Cartesian chart, a chart with X and Y axes to display the data. To use F Cartesian chart in Flutter, we need to add these packages to our pubspec.yaml file, like this. The plot area background color property sets the background color of the plot area, the area where the data is plotted, to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. The margin property sets the margin of the chart to edge insets all, zero, which means that there will be no space around the chart. The border color property sets the color of the border of the chart to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. The border width property sets the width of the border of the chart to zero, which means that there will be no border. The plot area border width property sets the width of the border of the plot area to zero, which means that there will be no border. The enable side by side series placement property sets whether the series, the data sets in the chart, are placed side by side or stacked on top of each other. The value false means that the series are stacked on top of each other. The primary x-axis property sets the x-axis of the chart to a category axis widget, which is a type of axis that displays categorical values such as text labels. The axis line property sets the axis line widget, which defines the appearance of the axis line, the line that runs along the axis. The width property sets the width of the axis line to 0 0.5 pixels. The major grid lines property sets the major grid lines widget, which defines the appearance of the major grid lines the lines that run across the plot area at regular intervals. The width property sets the width of the major grid lines to zero, which means that there will be no major grid lines. The major tick lines property sets the major tick lines widget, which defines the appearance of the major tick lines, the small lines that mark the values on the axis. The width property sets the width of the major tick lines to zero, which means that there will be no major tick lines. The crosses at property sets the value at which the x-axis crosses the y-axis. The value 0 means that the x-axis crosses the y-axis at the origin, the point where both axes have the value 0. The primary y-axis property sets the y-axis of the chart to a numeric axis widget, which is a type of axis that displays numerical values. The isVisible property sets whether the y-axis is visible or not. The value false means that the y-axis is not visible. The minimum property sets the minimum value of the y-axis. The value minus 1 means that the lowest value on the y-axis is minus 1. The maximum property sets the maximum value of the y-axis. The value 2 means that the highest value on the y-axis is 2. The interval property sets the interval between the values on the y-axis. The value 0 0.5 means that the values on the y-axis are spaced by 0 0.5 units. The class chart column data defines the data model for the chart. The constructor of the class takes three parameters, x, y, and y1, and assigns them to the corresponding properties. The x property is a string that represents the label for the data point on the x-axis. The y property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y-axis for the first series. The y1 property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y-axis for the second series. The variable chart data is a list of chart column data objects that contains the data for the chart. Each element of the list is a chart column data object that defines a data point for the chart. The first parameter is the x value. 
the second parameter is the y value for the first series and the third parameter is the y value for the second series. The series property sets the list of Cartesian series widgets which define the data sets that are plotted on the chart. The first element of the list is a column series widget which creates a column chart, a chart that displays vertical bars to represent the data. The border radius property sets the border radius widget, which defines the shape of the corners of the columns, means that only the bottom left and bottom right corners of the columns are circular with a radius of 20 pixels. The data source property sets the list of chart column data objects, which define the data points for the series. The width property sets the width of the columns as a fraction of the available space. The value 0.5 means that the columns take up half of the available space. We set the color of the columns. The X value mapper property sets the function that maps the X values of the data points to the X axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the X property of the object, which is a string. The Y value mapper property sets the function that maps the Y values of the data points to the Y axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the Y property of the object which is a double. The second element of the list is a column series widget which creates another column chart to represent the data. We copy the first column series widget and change the color of the columns and the Y value mapper property. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.